Okay, class, I'm hearing you, so I know some of you are still having problems with your lab, starting from number six. Uh, uh, you, what you're doing uh, is creating uh, from selection. You're going to use the Create from Selection button on the Formula tab, Define Names, Create from Selection. I think previously I told you to use Define Names, but we could do that, but let's do it the way your textbook's instruction is saying, Create from Selection. Okay, so right now we have already followed our directions. We've entered uh, this information our row headings into our column B and this information was entered from table 47 on page 280 in column C. Now we're going to select this range column A, column C, A4, excuse me, B4 through C9. We're going to go to the formula tab, create from selection. Okay, now we don't want the top row selected. So take, click on that checkbox so that it's not selected, but we do want the left column selected, and click OK. Now let's check this. Let's click on Name Manager. You see Name Manager? It's on the Formula tab, Define Groups, Name Manager. Now here's our annual return. It's 7.25. Do you see that? Let's just put that in there so that now, instead of in our formulas using C8, for annual return, we can use this named reference in our formula. So I'm going to close that box. Now I'm going to also go over to uh, D. I'm, this, this you're going to have to enter the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that to show you what it's going to look like to begin with. You're going to see an error message to begin with, but uh, highlight columns D, 4 through E9, and again on the formula tab, uh, create from selection, left column should be the only thing checked in the create names from selection box. Click OK. Check this out by going to the name manager again, and some of our values don't have anything there yet, okay, but we see those names that we can use in the formulas. So that's how easy that step is. And then when you get to A on number 6A, it says uh, employee monthly contributions. We're going to calculate that using our name references, which is in cell uh, E5. So we click on E5. All right, we always start our formula with the equal sign. See it right here, the equal sign. And now instead of typing in the cell reference for annual salary, which would be C5, we're going to use our name. So see, using formula, the defined name groups, I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'm going to click on annual salary. Okay, and then we're going to multiply. So that's the asterisk. Okay, we're going to multiply by percent invested. So I'm going to click using formula, find percent invested. Okay, then we're going to divide, which is your slash, your forward slash, 12. Okay, and then click your enter box right here. And you see um, it's not been formatted yet, but you see that I have the, the right number, 383.33, uh, and it will format on a later step. So that's all it is to it. You can do this. If you get stuck on another step, let me know.